All right, night number two. Woo! Yeah. Dustin. Little Dustin. Cool. Christmas cheer that? time, brother. Let's go. Yeah, I don't. I don't know how you want me to do this because I don't really have an example. I mean, you did it last night. But I, I don't know if how gonna... I'm gonna do it. I'm not using I... the glass. I'm going. Nope. I didn't know. Real quick. I didn't know if you were gonna. I didn't know how much you were gonna tee up, so I wasn't like. So I'm. I'm kind of prepared, but I'm not super prepared. Either way. Did you guys? Little full. The one question I want you to ask everybody. Answer is why did you send it? That's that's all you know. Yeah. Why'd you, you pick it? Can do. Into that decision, and then go for it. Yeah. Got it. I can do that. Um, I do need to discuss. We can do this after the pork. Um, but I, I need Natalie to break down why I got a little full, a lot of sap. Um, I, 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 I do resonate with that. And it's one of my favorite Christmas movies of all time. Anyway, I'll cut to the chase. Um, so I was, um, I kind of sent y'all. First of all, I have never tasted what I sent you. <laughs> I've never tasted it. <laughs> what? I've so you're never experiencing tasted this. this with us. That's perfect. Yeah, I wanted oh, to experience it for the first time with with the uh, 11, 12 of my closest friends. Um, no, I got a. Uh, so I moved to Georgia this year. I got down here, um, hung out a couple times with Bob Little. Bob Little and his group, BS and Bourbon. They picked a barrel um, in conjunction with the store that's like 10 minutes from where I live now called Bankhead Beverage in Carrollton. And what they picked is they picked two different barrels from this company. And I was like, like, honestly, Bob, how good is it? Because Bob, if you know Bob, like he'll shoot you straight. He'll be like, look, man, it's good, but like you don't need to go out and buy it. Bob was like, man, I'm telling you all right now. He's like, these things are great. He said, he said, either one of them is fantastic. I trust Bob a little. And so I went and got one. <laughs> so I, so I, I, went, I went and got one. And I was, I was legitimately blown away at this juice. I kind of looked at it as like, this is a gimmicky early brand not going to be good but what they did is they picked um a chattanooga whiskey um single barrel they did two of those and so i was like i was like man i would love to send one of these but then i went back to get more and they were gone because that's how good they are so instead i sent you just their standard but it's their cast strength so this is chattanooga whiskey cast strength oh, i'm excited to try this me too nice. oh. i think their that. juice taste at least what i've tasted from um um from uh from the barrels that they picked i think it tastes way more mature than the actual age um, age stated, is really age, fruity, yeah age stated is only it just says at least two years old uh, or more than two years old i think is what it says on the bottle um but these batches especially their cast strength they're only six to ten different barrels like it's not hmm. a huge it's like batch. a real small batch yeah like, real real small, small yeah. yeah so this, I'm really impressed. Um, this, with this uh, brand. on the nose, smells finished almost. It's yeah, so it fruity. Uh, yeah. It's yeah, very, very on fruity. the palate. It tastes finished. It does. Yeah, I agree with that too. So yeah. I bought a bottle of this when I was in Chattanooga, so, and I haven't opened it yet. But this is cool because I, I'm, I'm well, definitely looking forward to it. Yeah. All right. What did you say the proof year. was, Dustin? It's a 111 is their cast strength proof. Yeah, they they uh, nail it. Like they always put it at that, right? It's like yeah, a it always. Like, it, it tastes like 90. Yeah, no, that's that's yeah. really really good. Yeah. Will, what was that West Haven thing you and I did like the first year we started podcasting? Whiskey warmer. Whiskey warmer. So whiskey warmer. Gosh, like five years ago, Chattanooga whiskey was there. They were brand stinking new. They had a booth there, and I went and tried it. And even back then, it, their stuff was a little bit more malty back then, and th maybe they are now. But I was like, they actually they use a high malt. They have a they high actually, malt Nashville. I was yeah. looking at their website earlier today, and they even actually that's like their claim to fame is Tennessee yep. malt. Um, and they even have like different like different types of malt that's in there. So like a honey malted barley um, is one of the ones that they use in their mash bill, and. Um, I just think it's super unique, and I just can't believe how young it is, to be honest with you. It just doesn't taste like most stuff that I taste that's two or three years old. 
And so, so it was kind of my, like, I'm most impressed by this juice this, this is year. their small batch cast strength, is what you're saying. Uh-huh. Does it, okay. That Casey's, like, it. writing down, taking notes. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, I, you all know so, me. I'm, I'm so they only, stuff, so. So, so their mainstay is only three different offerings. They have their regular Chattanooga whiskey, which is, like, 91 proof. And they have a rye, which I'm not sure the proof of that. And then they have this cast strength. Now, they have mm-hmm. other brands that they're building on as well. And I've heard the rye is great. I've never had it. I just got a bottle. I just yeah. got it day before yesterday. And I love it. And you talk about the different, all the malts. It's yeah. malted rye, yellow corn, caramel malted rye, and chocolate malted rye. Yeah, mm. pretty cool. Um, when's it's the appropriate really time... Nice. Corey to do a toast because that's the one thing I did prepare. Okay, cool. Now. So I did I did prepare a toast. So let's all raise um, our glasses as you as you hopefully toast. This yeah. is, hopefully this is not a uh, will three sheets on the front porch of the Beaumont Inn toast for pepper. No, that'd be fine too. I don't know what that is. No, I don't know what that is. So I can't promise no, that it won't be. Fine. It can't be recorded. It can't be. No. No. I'm hoping that Will actually drinks with his right hand because then I can buffalo him. I don't. Play. <laughs> No, I, I am right-handed. On. Oh no, I, know. I, I, I forgot the game. <laughs> I don't plan on dropping a case of the MFers uh, in this toast. But um, <laughs> here's what I want to say. I told you guys this before, um, and this year it means more to me than ever. I lost my sister, my niece, and my mother this year. Um, hardest year of my life. Hardest year for a lot of people. So I'm not going to make this about me. But if we can just cheers this community that we're still alive and that we have each other and we have our health. I love you guys. Oh, amen. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, pal. And it's damn good. Mm, it's really good. It's very good. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Shocked. I bought a bottle of this. Me too. It's the most surprising juice for me this year. Yeah, I bought a bottle of this on a whim, and we crushed it. Like, it went way faster than most pours. Around. It's pretty easy yeah. drinking. Easy yeah. to drink, though, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I opened the living proof. Bob's pick at a party with like four other guys, and and one night we put that kind of hurting on it. It's just really good. You get that malt and the honey on that it just makes it really super easy to to yeah. like oh, too easy, like dangerous <laughs> to, yeah. to drink. And it's a I just bought a bottle of mud. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so so net. See right, Natalie. I got white grape, pear, cantaloupe, and light brown sugar. And on the taste, I got sweet corn, dry, bright, honey, and banana peel. What and was the last one? And clove and banana peel. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. One of these days, I'm going to taste something that she says. I know. <laughs> I know a thing about clove. Here to go, Troy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I got a Granny Smith apple on the nose. Mm. I got the pear. Kind of that bright fruit, yeah. Fruit. Yeah. Natalie, I get like a wine note, and that's where like something oh, that sure. kind of like a like a lighter Pinot, maybe. I was gonna um, say Pinot or Chardonnay, but instead I said grape, white grape. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I see that in the finish for sure. Or for sure. That in the finish for sure. Hmm. So it's not a fancy bottle. There's not much of a secondary markup for what it's worth, guys. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's not. No, there's not. Yeah, I, I don't, yeah, I don't. I think you're probably Get on it. this for ten dollars more than you know MSRP if you ordered it online. Probably got it delivered. I got one for <laughs> for send me a UPS, UPS label and the price, so I'm I'm thrilled. <laughs> this is awesome, man. Good stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I want to I want to cup like uh, Corey. Yeah, I actually just cup. bought one from uh, BS and Bourbon. I bought one from them. The Amazon. All, everything to my house has come via Amazon for the last two weeks. It. So it's just like the <laughs> FedEx <a> guys. <laughs> he probably knows my credit card number by now. So that's fine. Yeah, we were. We really appreciate it. <laughs> hey, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like Casey is getting close to the point where he may have some random crap show up tonight on Amazon. <laughs> He, he's already just buying bottles on a whim. Like, give him a couple mm. more. Well, no, I have a buddy that lives in Chattanooga, and I just texted him, and he said, "Yeah." So he's uh, got some. Is this not common? Like, 
I can get all the varieties everywhere here. They're on every shelf. Yeah, I can too here. Is, so it the rare, the is it the rare thing? I don't think so, but I think it's uh, it's probably just because it's younger company. It's just not in every market. Well, in Georgia and Texas are just pretty normally like the first markets. Yeah, right. Yeah. To this rye is still hard to find, but also a lot of times I feel like uh, companies that are outside of Kentucky that are distilleries um, don't necessarily dive into Kentucky. Mm early always because it's just so flooded like you can literally get everything sure so i just feel like these guys are doing some really great things i was really skeptical um before i tasted any of their stuff and i was i'm still just blown away every time i taste something new from them it's I used to watch a podcast or something that they had years ago when they were first starting out and the bottle looks cool too oh I mean, yeah, did, whole, yeah didn't we review like, that well like way back in the day no, it, like etched, raised up off the glass. Glass, but that make that uh, ashtray. Yes, and it's it's really cool on the back. You know, they they were, you probably won't be able to see it, it's too small, but they put all yeah, the they put the match bill. Yeah, you can't see it. All the details yeah. that you no, would want, could possibly cool. want are in there. So, I um, y'all don't know this about me, but I collect koozies like T-shirts from like different events and everything. So I have literally a tub full of koozies that have like, they all have some sort of special meaning or something, but I have a Chattanooga whiskey koozie from Whiskey Warmer that we got at their table. And I saved it because that was the first event we did and it was freezing cold. And uh, it was, I believe, it was, it was probably early 2017, right, Grease? Because it was, uh, I think it was February. Yeah. Um, but yeah. this says we called it whiskey colder. So this is uh great whiskey comes from great beer is what it says on the koozie. And then it says Chattanooga whiskey co the dynamo of Dixie. So hmm. there you go. And then it says whiskey to the people on the bottom of the koozie. It's actually kind of a nice one. So yeah, whoever they've got doing like their packaging and branding and all that stuff, they're doing a fine job. Yeah. Hey Will, do you do you ever get confused with the word jacuzzi? Nope, never, <laughs> never once did I confuse the two. Nope. Well, I just you know because sometimes like in Spanish, like you add like a ha in front of stuff. You know what I mean? And so nope. I was just like you know like ha koozie, you know like a the koozie. This is uh like the Japanese mafia. This yeah. is an autograph koozie by David Allen Coe. Well, that comment. That's, that's, cool. cool. that's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's pretty cool. <laughs> now you've got our interest. An autograph. Man. Man. Have we, we played ever... a show, golly, here in Lexington a couple years ago? It was it was awful. And I mean that with the most respect, but he was so drunk. It was just like. Well, did I have I shown you all my picture with him? No. Have we told the story, Will? It's one of the greatest stories on like save it for the podcast we'll we'll do it why can't i just tell it here to, <laughs> to these folks no let's just save it i don't i want we need to use it it's such a incredible it's an incredible story it's I'll just, almost I'll as good as that Corey, Corey, mute grease so he stops and let will tell this story. <laughs> <laughs> i'll tease it by saying that that it's when the night i got that signed and uh it was he was playing on the the dirt track race track in Shelbyville, Tennessee, and he was so late that the cover band that was the uh, opener that played you know classic party band playing classic rock covers um, played their set three times through. <laughs> because the organizer was like you can't uh this is shelbyville tennessee and we're on a dirt track you can't just stop these people <laughs> will get very upset so they Don't literally played, anymore, played the whole set three times through <laughs> stop Don't say anymore. that's a good teaser that, that's, that's pretty that's awesome before i got his autograph do you guys like <laughs> don't fear the reaper here it is again <laughs> <laughs> And the trifecta, don't fear the reaper. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. All right. Well, you guys eventually... like David Allen Coe because we're playing uh, 
uh, his songs again. <laughs> again. All right. Well, you'll get that on the uh, on the podcast. Who's who's three? Who's tomorrow? That's we have uh, Casey. Casey. Yep. Casey. Awesome. All right. Well, no pressure. Don't hide me. Here. No. Okay. None at all. He sent that. Um, we can't just be like, hey, it's going to be a nice, calm, reserved night next time. That that's not that's not how the show business works. But well, I know. But Grease acted like I was supposed to bring some. 1956 dusty bottle or something like that i was like i was really nervous seeing that i was going between Corey and case (laughs) hope you like a shit sandwich (laughs) Uh, and on that i'll try to beep it so i I think you know i think the s bomb's fine i think we're probably okay it's fine they'll only mute my account i forgot we were recording i'm sorry (laughs) Hope you like uh, the shit sandwich, man. That's right. Uh, you you should stay up late with me longer. It's a whole lot of beeping. It's like Morse code over here, so it's fine. All right. Uh, so, Merry Christmas, and then uh, Casey tomorrow, right? That's yeah, right. Okay, Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. 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 We're full. A lot of stuff.